Hey guys, welcome to uh, my channel. My name is John Anthony Chihoxaltero. I am your anti-hero. <clears throat> and I just got finished watching Unbreakable for the umpteenth time. Um, I really love that movie. And um, I haven't done my piece for Inktober just yet. So I'm going to... Uh, I just kind of started it. Um, and I'm actually attempting to draw it uh, upside down, or right side up, as it were, because today's subject on day 11, which we're barely making, is Guri, who is, of course, the space dog from the Bubba Patrol. And so she's going to be floating in space, and as you can kind of see, I already kind of got some of the method on there. Um... And I'm going to try to keep up because I got a couple of little guys snoofering around. As soon as they heard me announce myself, they uh, <laughs> they came over and they wanted to see what was going on. Um, so, uh, for those of you who may not know, or maybe this is the first time you're hearing about it, Inktober was started, um, I believe the guy's name is Jake Parker, and because <clears throat> I read about it uh, last year when I did Inktober for the very first time. And I think I was able to accomplish 20-something 20, 20 days out of Inktober. Uh, and for a first time, uh, I'm guessing that's pretty good. In the past, uh, as I think I've said in the previous video where I was inking the Grayson piece on day six, um, I had thought, you know, Inktober was dumb and a waste and, um, like, you know, I've got all these other things that I already want to do, so, like, what's the point in taking part in Inktober? And so, for the most part, Inktober is something that I try to do um, during my lunchtime at work, Monday through Friday, and, uh, but on weekends, and this weekend as well, because it's a three-day weekend for me, um, is going to be a little bit different. Um, I just actually got done packaging up, uh, one of, or both, uh, all three, actually, because one person backed twice, um, the, uh, Welcome to Bubba Club, uh, Indiegogo packages. One is for my uh, really good friend, all the way from trying to remember how to do this backwards and upside down. Um, from high school, Demetrius. Um, we we met freshman year. We graduated the same year, ninety six, and um, junior year at least we played football together. Um, my sophomore year, I played JV. Demetrius went straight from freshman to varsity. And um, so we played one season together. And my senior year, I was all geared up to play and be a uh, team leader and all this other stuff. And uh, right before senior year started, like the, literally like the Thursday or Friday before, um, the first day of school, I, um, we were doing two a days and I went home after the second session one night with literally like one or two days left. And I don't know what it was, but I suddenly realized I wasn't going to play college football. Like I wasn't uh, I had made a lot of strides and improvements and stuff like that, and but I wasn't there. I was not fast enough. I was not big enough. Um, I was not specifically not fast enough. Um, I mean, there have been a lot of smaller people who've played football, and not that I'm a tiny person, but for the sake of you know playing what I wanted to be big time college football, uh, you know, being five foot ten and at that point, like 170 pounds. Um, yeah, that's, that's like, you know, you're going to be playing special teams maybe. Um, 
And for whatever reason, like it reconciled in my head and I was okay with it. And so I went to practice the next day, but my heart wasn't into it. And, um, one of the other players who was, who was getting ready to also be like a team leader and stuff like that, uh, like barked at me and he was just like, get off my field. Um, and so I did, and I, I just walked off the field and, um, you know, got dressed, uh, went home, showered, you know, I forget if I told my mom or not, but I, I think she was probably at work. Um, and, uh, so for two and a half years, like, like football was, was my life. Like that's all I did. Uh, I collected cards. I played, uh, you know, football video games. I, uh, watched games, you know, I watched game film, uh, I lifted weights, I did agility drills to get faster. Um, so my mom was, she wasn't devastated. She was always worried that I was going to get hurt playing football. Um, so I'm sure in a way she was kind of relieved. Um, but she knew that for two and a half years, like this was, this was what I wanted and she didn't understand, um, how I could just like kind of walk away from that. Uh, and she worried that, you know, this was going to kind of like leave me with no direction. And I, and I'll be honest, like it, it was really, really hard, uh, like finding my way after that. Uh, I did a lot of skateboarding. I wasn't very good at that. Um, I'm not super coordinated. I'm not super light on my feet. I'm not super agile. Um, but I enjoyed it. And then I started, you know, just hanging out and doing stuff and started smoking and, you know, just not really doing like horrible things, but, you know, doing, I guess, like typical slacker, uh, like high school kid stuff. And, but then I started getting back into my artwork and, um, one of the things that I did was, uh, starting second semester, senior year, I dropped Spanish. Um, I think I was, uh, our class 96 was the last year that you were not required to take two years of a language. Otherwise I would have been effed with that, but, um, so I dropped Spanish and I went back in for a third semester of animation and I'd taken animation sophomore year in high school and had so much fun doing it. Uh, it's, you know, which is like the precursor to, you know, going to college and everything, which is kind of interesting because after high school, I took five years off <laughs> before going back. Um, and actually during that second semester in animation class, not necessarily in animation class, but like during that time frame, is when I came up with the characters Nash and Agnew. And... Um, nothing for me has been the same ever since. Um, now, like, I'm going to try to find the, uh, original pieces that I did for Nash because Nash was not Nash originally. He was a character named, named Thorn. Um, and I, I found out like, oh, there's a character named Thorn already. And I was just like, well... Um, I'll name him, I forget, like, I was going to name him Natus. Uh, I, th I thought it was, it was clever because Natus is Satan backwards. Um, not that there was anything in, well, I guess not. Um, so I was really influenced by horror movies at that point in time. And one that I was kind of, series I was stuck on at that point was, um, Halloween. And so the... It's so part five where they they do the story and you see the um, the the he had a constellation symbol tattooed on his on his wrist and it's the symbol of thorn, 
which, you know, according to the story and stuff, was uh, a malevolent constellation and people born under that constellation were, like, cursed and evil. And they tried doing this whole thing where they purged a village and stuff like that. Um, and I am, like, completely rambling, but, like... One, that's that was the first, like, making of, of Nash. He was this gigantic character named Thorn. Then he became Natus. Uh, then he became this, like, psychotic little jester dude who was, like, super wiry with this, like, really elongated Joker head. But I wasn't really trying to mimic the Joker because at that time I wasn't reading DC Comics. I was reading Marvel. And... um. So then I, like, created Agnew, and Agnew came about even before Nash got the pigtails. Like, Nash got the pigtails after I graduated high school, which is also when my hair started to be long enough that I could wear pigtails. And one of my friends from that time frame, um, who I still keep in touch with now, in fact, she, she moved back to Arizona, uh, Becca, who was a manager of a comic book store at that time. And that, like, that's how we met. Um, at, at one point she, it was funny. We had a conversation and she took responsibility or, um, or whatever for, um, uh, for me wearing the pigtails and for Nash having the pigtails because, um, at my graduation party, uh, from senior year, she wore her hair in pigtails. And I mean, that may have been like an influence or something like that. I, I don't really, I can't honestly remember where the idea for the pigtails came from. But I mean, uh, maybe that might've been it. Uh, I'll, you know, I, I'd really love to be able to tap back into that, that brain at that point that thought about that and made that decision. Um, but anyways, how does this tie into my friend Demetrius? Okay. So when I quit football, um, pretty much everybody on the team was, uh, really, really pissed at me. Um, and you know, maybe rightfully so. I mean, I was the one who was pushing the hardest and I was the one who was arguably putting in more work than anybody else and, and had made, you know, leaps and bounds of improvement, you know, over from junior to senior year and stuff like that. Like I dropped like, like, like two tenths off of my 40 yard dash. But, I mean, but whatever. So pretty much the entire team with the exception of a couple of guys, uh, were really, really upset with me that I, that I quit. Um, and Demetrius was not only not upset with me, but um, in my yearbook, he wrote that he wanted me to keep drawing and, you know, he respected the, the artwork that I was working on. And um, I, I don't know if I ever told him why I stopped playing football, but, you know, it happened. And um, so... But he was supportive of it, and he's been supportive of my my comic book career, too. And he's backed all the Bubba Patrol and Bubba Files campaigns, um, which means a whole lot to me. He backed the, uh, the Welcome to Bubba Club um, campaign that, you know, came with the membership card and the, the Bubba Club sticker and copy of the book and the print and everything. Um, and so... Uh, when I hand printed the cards, um, it's already packed up, so I can't show it to you. Um, but I did all of the cards in my printer and then, you know, had to reverse the paper out to print it on the second side. Cause for whatever reason, my printer has decided it doesn't like to print, uh, two sided things anymore. So you get the card and then flipped over, it's hand numbered, and I printed 10 of these. And so the first three are claimed. Actually, the first four are claimed. Um, and his was number one. Um, with uh, issue two of the Bubba Patrol, he backed 
um, he didn't even back a tear. He just he just threw a bunch of money, a bunch of money at me, and um, uh, it it really helped a whole lot. So I was just like, uh, you get the first sketch cover, and uh, they were numbered one to fifteen, and he got the first sketch cover, and uh, um, he wanted the whole team on it, and he wanted a color just like the first issue. He wanted the whole team on it. And I was just like, well, I'm not going to color it because that was the whole spiel was like you you get one character and, and you get it. Um, it's inked. Um, and so he asked for the entire team and I was like, all right. And I did the whole team. And then the second issue, he asked for the whole team again. And I was just like, you know what? He, he's my best friend. And, you know, so I, I got it to him, like totally colored and everything. But um, so that that's what that has that whole story has to do with my my best friend Demetrius from high school um and uh got the everything finally packed up today and I got all the uh Bubba stickers all cut up and cut out and stuff like that and then I got individual Bubba Patrol stickers like this thing is nice and heavy it's got like eight sets in it or like five sets in it or something like that and then these are all the Bubba Club stickers um and I wish I had them to show to you like just one at a time um, but, uh, oh, well, I can show you this. So that's, that's the Bubba Club sticker. And, uh, that's actually on my car now. And so are all the individual Bubba stickers. Um, but there is Guri. And she's floating in space. And I drew her upside down floating in space. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, Anyways, uh, stay tuned for more news. Um, we're getting ready to send out the Tucson Comic Con exclusive cover. Uh, if you're following on uh, Facebook at AHB Kids with a Z, um, you will get to see the cover that we're submitting for the convention. It's going to be super exclusive. Um, or if you're following on Instagram, also AHB dot Kids with a Z. Um, and uh, we surpassed our uh, 100th follower on Facebook. So we're doing a random giveaway tomorrow around in the afternoon. So if you have time before the afternoon, get over to the anti-hero brand kids, AHB kids with a Z on Facebook, like the page, and then you'll be randomly entered. And I'm just gonna like, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna figure out a way to pick a random, uh, random person. And uh, they're gonna get a Bubba Club uh, prize package. All right, guys, have a good day. That's uh, the end of day 11 for Inktober, and it ended with the space dog, Gertie.